god dang what's going on y'all you guys are watching ycf airboats man and i thought i'd started recording on this but apparently my gopro wasn't working yesterday but we got rained out anyway so we're back at it today catch up on where we're at the old bear haul all right so all right y'all so we're back on the old bear haul man and and i got a god dang spool gun and i got a gas bottle so now we're doing aluminum all right so now it's time to get back to this thing while i'm waiting on materials for the new build that you guys haven't seen yet but you might see it before you see this video because i don't ever post them in order because it's whatever one i make first it gets there all right and i'm like 13 videos behind anyways and i hadn't had the motivation to be making videos because youtube keeps demonetizing me but we just got monetized back again so we're back at it anyways so i'm gonna quit yip yapping and get to yip yapping on what we've done here <laughs> so we have welded on the splash pad back on and i started putting on my piece of aluminum angle um i still have to weld that gap and i didn't realize it yesterday but there's a little spot right there like a four inch spot i need to weld my aluminum i got for the front deck is right here so what i'm gonna do in a minute is i'm gonna set it up there and trace it and cut it okay but i'm gonna cut it to where it folds down this way and it folds down under the hall here which i just cut these plates off and i have no idea why those plates are even there I have no idea why they even planted it there in the first place it does suck because we're working out in the sun and it's hot but the shop's got a bunch of stuff in it and there's a boat in a way that's the next build that it's just too much work to move it all around when i'm gonna have it back in there in a couple days so we're just gonna work out here and i'm gonna cut the pieces in the ac in the shop so it's not gonna be that big of a deal y'all this is gonna be a short video so just keep watching all right I tell y'all boys it is hot out there it is hot out there i had to change my shirt and i wrung out about two bottles of water out of that little sweat two zephyr hills water bottles worth of sweat out of that shirt and it's changing this one it's already starting to get sweaty but right here buddy it feels so good up in the chop Woo! all right y'all got my outline on there uh so that's what I'm going to run with at the second. And we're going to go set it up on the hall after that and get a better idea of it. It's just so long, it's flexing and stuff. So I've made the cut bigger to where I can always, you can always cut it bigger and take away. You can't add it back. Especially if a piece of aluminum is expensive as that is. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to chip chop it, go out there, put it back on there, remark it and just keep on fine tuning it till it's perfect or good enough all right y'all <clears throat> i am going to hold off on putting the deck on i want to get my other piece of trim on that side and in order to do that one i have to wait for it to get here because it's coming with the material that we ordered for the new build and i'm not going to be able to break that like i wanted to i was gonna my break is only 36 inches so obviously that's a lot bigger than 36 inches so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Vern's shop in the morning and he's got like 12 foot brakes and 16 foot brakes up there and we're going to break it there because i was going to how i was going to do it since my brakes only 36 inches i was going to just cut halfway through the aluminum bend it down and weld where i cut but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. We're just going to break it, do it right. Uh, but in the meantime, but y'all, the splash pad is huge. So I made a line on it and we're going to cut this inside line. And we're going to go ahead and cut that off real quick and get that off of there. Cause it's just, it's huge. Like it's really big. All right, y'all, we got her cut down. Looks way better, way better. Even that side looks way better with that angle on there. All right, y'all. It has been probably a month and a half since the beginning of this video to now. Uh, 
I had a couple boats come in and I built. You guys haven't seen all those videos yet and I don't even know when you're going to be seeing this one. So, who knows? But anyways, it's been put off. Now we're jumping back on it. Alright. So I got it up in the shop. I'm going to clean it all out, but I done ground my sides. <clears throat> See, I done ground it all off, so I got good clean aluminum. Well, the cleanest, getting aluminum as clean as I can. And I'm going to start welding on my piece of angle for the side of this thing. And uh, then we're going to work on putting some braces in our deck piece there. And uh, possibly getting it welded on. So keep watching and you're going to see what we get into on this, let's make this, I don't remember what I call it, making this bear hall great again or something. Alright y'all, we got the side piece on, that one's been on, uh, and I put this front in here. Um, so I am going to fill this gap. I'm gonna, I had to put this rope on here to drag the haul over into the shop. I'm gonna pull this rope out. I'm gonna trace a piece. I gotta grind this clean in some fresh or cleaner aluminum. It's still not gonna be clean, but it's gonna be a lot cleaner. And I'm gonna weld it in and then grind it smooth so it looks like it was never open. So that's where I'm at with it right now, but uh, the side is on, both trim pieces are on, the front piece is in there, and actually, right now, I'm going to work on cleaning this hall out, get it all vacuumed out, swept out, and figure out the next step. So, that's where I'm at with it right now. Alright y'all, I forgot to bring you guys in before I flipped it back over. I just had it upside down and took the polymer off it. Polymer was worst poly I've ever seen. Like, that's how it was. Cracked just like that. I took the screws off and peeled each piece off. Uh, it was cracked. Just every piece that's broke was already broke but still bolted to the bottom. So I took each bolt out and pulled each broken piece off. That's how bad it was. Now you can see all the uh, bolt holes are out. There's my bucket full of poly bolts. Uh, here's the deck lid I started making for it. Still got a lot to do to it. I'm going to weld another piece of angle to the bottom. There's still, still a lot of work that's got to go into this thing. Um, but I'm trying to keep my budget on it low. Yes, I bought it for 400, but now I've got almost 400 into it so far, and I'm gonna put another sheet of poly on it. Good thing I can get poly really cheap from a good buddy of mine. If not, I would, I'd, I'd be losing money at this point, because the object is to resell it or build a boat out of it to resell it. Not sure if I'm going to put another motor on it and a new rigging, which I'd like to, because that would maximize my money. I've got motors laying around everywhere, guys. I got two there. And I've got another four motors in the shed. So, building the boats isn't much. I mean, I'd still need props and material for rigging and stuff, but doing that myself and gas tanks and stuff, but. That's just here nor there. So it would be worth me to build a boat out of it and sell it as a whole turnkey boat. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but this is where we're at with it today. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on it tomorrow. Uh, waiting on some more material to strengthen the deck lid. I was gonna weld in some angle like I did on that uh, deck lid I just showed y'all, but I wanna use either square or C-channel aluminum because it would be a lot stronger than that angle. Because that is not eighth inch. That is some thin stuff to try to keep it light. 
And taking the poly and all that bucket of bolts off of this thing made it extremely light. This thing is actually pretty darn light right now. And a four cylinder would push this thing all over the place. But I don't want to put a four cylinder on it if I build it. I want to put a six cylinder and nitrous, honestly. But anyways, we got this bar in here. I don't know if you guys seen that. But I put that bar in. Oh, I think you all right y'all next day um i'm most, i'm working on sealing this hole in the deck get it welded up and then that's sealed and i'm probably gonna plate the underneath where uh water's supposed to come through right in there you see where the light's shining through I'm probably gonna weld little plates into there and uh that way the deck will be sealed and i'll have to I'm gonna have to drill some holes so if water does get in there it has a place to get out but I'm gonna seal those so if you got life vests and stuff in there the ropes or straps ain't falling through and coming through into the boat and stuff like that so all right y'all I think I'm gonna have to stop now because I don't have the material to do the front deck I'm waiting on my buddy to bring me some c-channel aluminum or square tubing aluminum because it's going to be stronger than the angle I have but I got the back tab welded in for the cage cut those and welded those in that one's there and that one's there and she's in Now I have not used a spool gun in probably 12 years y'all so and I've only used one once before I got that one and just started using it on this stuff. Um, for the most part though I like it and it doesn't look bad. It don't look bad at all. It don't look bad at all. Um, some could be a little bit better but it is the fact that we are working with this old aluminum that has got a lot of impurities in it you can grind it and try to clean it but it's still old and got trash on it so that's where we're at with it y'all got a little bit more i'm gonna do because it's something i just thumped about all right my boat my alma tech got the same things in there so i put a piece there and i put a piece there now I'm going to take that one by one angle aluminum and make a piece for the edge on both sides. I've already got one marked. I'm going to cut it, put it on there. Well, all right, y'all, we got that piece up in there. See a nice piece of angle on the edge. Now being as they're recessed, I only put a stitch weld right in the center. So water, when it gets on there, it can go out through here and here. Same on that side. But it's all girls coming together. Um, yesterday when I got the poly off and I didn't show you guys, um, the bottom was pretty beat up and beat in. You can't tell from looking inside it as of right now. And you shouldn't be able to tell at all now because I took a... So I took a big old sledgehammer and a uh, two by four and I whacked the two by four with the sledge and I knocked 90% of the bottom back out to flat. So it looks way better as of right now. Um, I don't think the way it was was going to affect how it was going to ride, especially after we put new poly on it. But it's 100% better now. I'm still waiting on my couple pieces to put in the front before I put my deck on there. Which I also cut and got it ready to go on. It is 100% ready to weld on as soon as I get my pieces to go in there for support. But yeah, we just, this old girl's looking good, alright?